Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is leaf similar trees. <clears throat> so in this problem, uh, we have a binary tree. So we have to consider all the leaves of the binary tree from left to right order. So all the leaf nodes from left to right, the value of those leaves forms a leaf value sequence. So we have to take all the leaf node values that will be leaf uh, value sequence. So for two binary trees are considered leaf similar if their leaf value sequence is same. So return true if and only if two given trees with head nodes root one and root two are leaf similar. So for example, this these two trees are given to us. This is one tree. This is a second tree. Both are binary trees. So we have to find out the leaf sequence of this first tree. So leaf sequence will be all the leaf nodes from left to right. So left 6, 7, 4, 9, 8. This is the order for this first tree. And for the second tree also if you will see <coughs> the leaf sequence, leaf value sequence is same. 6, 7, 4, same. Same as this. 6, 7, 4, 9, 8. Hence these two are leaf similar. These two binary trees are leaf similar because their leaf value sequence is same. Okay. So it's very easy problem. Basically we need, just need to find out we have to find out the leaf value sequence leaf value sequence of this tree this tree and then second we have to find the leaf value sequence of this second tree and we just need to check whether this let's say this is sequence 1 sequence 1 and this is sequence 2 so we just need to check whether they are equal or not if they both are equal so we'll have to return true Otherwise, we'll have to return false. Okay. So, this is what the problem is. So, this is very basic problem in trees. So, by what we basically need to do, we just need to find the leaf value sequence. So, what we will do, we will do basic traversal of tree. So, basic traversal of tree we will do. We will do depth first search, DFS traversal. DFS traversal that is depth first search we will for in what happens in depth first search we'll start from root this root will be given to us root 1 and this will be root 2 so I will just show you how to find out the leaf value sequence of one tree similarly for the same, uh, same way we you can find the leaf value sequence for the second tree as well so for this see what will happen we'll be at root first of all we will check whether this root is leaf. So, so see guys, whenever, whenever you have three problem, right? Visualize it like this: that you have this as this is your root node, and it will have some left subtree, it will have some right subtree. So, what you need to do is you have to basically work upon the root, and the recursive call will handle the left and right subtree. So, left subtree you will make a recursive call. Right subtree, you will make a recursive call. And what you need to do is you need to just work on the root node. So here what our aim is. What is your aim? Look out, uh, look on your goal. What is your goal here? We have to find out the leaf value sequence. We leaf, we have to know the all the leaf nodes. All the leaf nodes we want to know. So we will check. We will check whether this root node is a leaf node. Is it? Is it a leaf node? So we will see. We will check. Uh, if what is the condition of being a leaf node it's left and right is null right so if roots left is equal equal to null and roots right is equal equal to null so if this condition is true then it means it's a leaf node so if it's a leaf node let's say we are having a string in which we are storing the sequence this is a string in which we are storing the sequence. So we will add this current root value to this string because this is one of the leaf node. Okay. This is what we'll do. So this is our task. This is the work we will do. And for the left subtree, we will make a recursive call on the left. That is roots left. And for the right subtree, we'll also make call to roots right 
so this is how we will approach this problem and secondly uh, base case obviously in three cases what are base case if root is null just return return empty string why empty string because see guys it might happen that there is nothing in the like there is nothing in the tree so if there is nothing in the tree obviously there will be no leaf value sequence because there is no node in the tree only so in that case leaf value sequence will be what empty string okay so let's see how it works so dfs works like this okay so what will happen first of all your root you will be at root so you will go to the you will check whether this is a leaf node that is we will check this condition no this is not, not a leaf node so we will go what you will go to the left so you will go to the left that is your root will now become this so you will check whether this is leaf node no so you will again go to the left now this will become root now you will check whether this is leaf node its left is null and its right is also null hence this is a leaf node so we will have a string in which we will add this value 6 okay then it will go back and we this we have already done so the next step is to go to the right so we will go to the right we will check for this 2 whether this 2 is leaf node no so go to the left left call whether then we'll check for this root will become 7 we will check whether 7 is leaf node Yes, seven is leaf node, so we'll add seven in the string. You can separate them using a star also if you want to. Okay. Let's separate only because it might happen. Nah, there is need to separate. Why? Because, uh, like let's say here there is uh, not seven, it's like it's sixty one something like this. So it's better to separate these two numbers. Then we go back. We all we have already checked for two. We'll go to the right of two now. This right call, and four we will check whether it's leaf node or not. It's not. It's leaf node. So we will add it in the this string. Also, four left is null, so we'll go just return because base case base uh, base case, and this also will return. Okay. So in this base case, just simply don't return any empty string. Just simply return. Then go back. Now three is left. You have already processed. Now you go to three is right. So one becomes the root node. Root node now. So one is not a leaf node. So go to left of one. Nine is a leaf node. Add it in the string. Left and right null null. So base case hit. It will come back to nine. Then it will return to one back. We have already checked for one. Now we go to the right. Right call. We go to eight. We check eight is a leaf node. so we will add it in the this and i'll just return return and return from here so this is my leaf value sequence similarly you will call for the second node same dfs you will call for the second tree uh, uh, second tree also and uh, from there also you will get a leaf value sequence just compare this one and that one and if they are same so you can return true otherwise return false okay so if you see here the code fairly simple we have uh, these we have taken two strings okay st uh, t1 for storing the leaf value sequence for uh, first tree and t2 string for storing the leaf value sequence for the second tree and dfs call making for both to find uh, to uh, get the leaf value sequence so t1 so see here a uh, change will be reflected in t1 and t2 why because we are passing it by reference see m percent is there right so it will be reflected here in t1 and t2 if t1 and t2 is same then return true else return false so now this dfs function this is the base case if root is null just simply return if it's a leaf node we will add the current root value in the string which is this one and we will just simply also add a uh, dif like uh, differentiator that okay this is one value and this is another value and then we'll call the left subtree and right subtree simple simple dfs okay so 
I hope this was uh, this was clear. And uh, time complexity is we are doing single like basically we are doing one traversal of tree for this one and one traversal of the tree. So like you can say it's O of n1 plus n2, O of n1 plus n2, where n1 is the nodes in the first tree, first tree, tree. And uh, N2 is the nodes in second tree. Space complexity is also, uh, we'll be storing, like basically we'll be storing the leaf nodes. So it will be, let's say, O, L1 plus L2, where L1 is the leaf nodes in first tree and L2 is the leaf nodes in second tree. So I hope this problem was clear. If you found the video helpful, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.